Aloha, this is Kevin Kimball at BYU Hawaii. I'm going to show you how to link a quiz to a question bank. What we're going to do, we're going to have a quiz that has a question group in it, and that question group will be tied to a question bank. And this is an Instructure Canvas. So we've already logged into the um, first term version of this course. It's 2011 semester term four, which is first term counting to a one. And so we're going to go down to uh, where I need to update this information. All these quizzes here, as you can see, I have a quiz for each uh, learning objective. And in this quiz, I'll just click on it so you see what that looks like. In this quiz, if I click Edit, you'll see a question group. This group pulls questions from the bank called Outcome A, what is a business, what are the normal types of business. And it says it's going to pick three questions giving one point per question out of this question bank. So this group can actually have multiple question banks out of which you only choose three. In this case, I'm only using one question bank in this group, but you could uh, do it that way. Um, so anyway, that's how this is uh, set up. And as you can see, I've already done it how I want it for um, Lesson 1A. And I've actually done the same thing for Lesson 1B. And what we're going to do is we're going to work forward to the other uh, lessons. So these are all done all the way through here. And I already started on 2A. I've done 2A here. And now we need to do 2G. So this is the process to create a group in this quiz and link that group to the question bank. So we're going to click here. We're going to edit the quiz. If there are any questions in there, since you're doing this the first time, we're going to clean out whatever's in there so we can do it right the first time. We're going to delete that. So that's OK. Now we want to add a new question group. Don't change the name here because you won't need it. Just link to a question bank. And as you can see, this is 2G. So we're going to drag down and find 2G in all these question banks that I have. And there's 2G. We choose it. You see there's only two questions in there, but I'm going to be building that up over time. So uh, don't worry about that. I want it to actually choose three questions, but since there's only two, it can only choose a maximum of two. But as I add more questions to the bank, it will be able to choose three. Um, once we've done that, pick three questions from this, from this um, question bank, we create the group. So now what's going to happen when students take this quiz, they will get three questions, and those three questions will pull from this particular bank. If I have three or four banks, they still would only choose three questions from all those banks combined. Um, we leave this as a practice quiz, so this won't actually affect the student's grades. So we uh, put it as a practice quiz. If you do this, it won't show up in their grade book. They can do it um, and, and just be aware of that. Students will say, why, why aren't my scores showing up? Well, it's a practice quiz. They're not meant to. If there are any of these others, graded, grade survey, any of these others, um, these two graded ones, they, they would show up in their grade book and on grade survey wouldn't. So it's a practice quiz. We're going to shuffle the answers. That means the order of the possible responses will be um, rearranged. Don't put a time limit on it. Allow them to see the correct answers. We want to allow them multiple attempts. You can keep the highest score, but it really doesn't matter because it's ungraded. And I just put in 50 here. It really doesn't matter. But uh, put in a number that you would imagine would be more than a student would ever hope to be able to do. No due date. It's not going to be locked. And we just save the settings. And then we have to republish. As soon as you republish, then it comes up to this view. And you can just click the next module. And you go to Edit Quiz, and you do that process again. And that's here there's no questions at all in it. So we would just do uh, just one more time. This is a new question group. We link to a question bank. We need to find 2B down here. There's 2B. You select the bank. Make sure you choose three out of that. We're going to create the group. And it's practice quiz. We shuffle the answers. That's all right. Allow 50 attempts. Save settings. And as soon as it finishes saving, then you uh, republish. Sometimes it takes a little while, so I'm going to pause this. Well, I'm, I'm actually going to stop it now because I don't need to show any more in this video. But that's kind of how the whole thing works. If it doesn't work, then just go back and redo that again, and it should work. Okay.